House friends, welcome back. Today, I want to share with you my top three essential oil blends to use in your diffuser to keep your family well this winter. If you are new here, my name is Kim. Thanks so much for stopping by the farmhouse. I post weekly videos on life in our farmhouse, natural living, raising chickens, gardening, and a lot of creativity along the way. If those are a few of your favorite things, go ahead and click subscribe now and ring that little notification bell so you won't miss a thing. I'm going to cover three essential oil recipes today. And the first one we're going to talk about is allergies and how they affect you during the winter season and a blend that is really going to help with seasonal allergies. The second blend we're going to do really does make your house smell like the Christmas season, but it really helps those who have the flu. And lastly, I'm saving my winter wellness blend because it is my most requested recipe. I have it going in our home all the time. It is my top requested by all my clients and it does such a great job at eradicating germs but if you've already gotten sick, it aids you in a super fast recovery. So let's get started with our blending. So we're gonna get started with our allergy blend and allergies can sure make us feel miserable and they can also lead to secondary infections. So this blend is going to help relieve our allergy symptoms and fight those secondary infections. And we are going to start with filling it up with water. Now you want to be cautious of that max line. You don't want to go over it. I find that the diffusers do not work well if you do that. Now we're going to use lavender oil, two drops. Lavender is a super strong antimicrobial essential oil. It fights bacteria and viruses, treats flu and infection. Now one of the reasons we get so sick during this time of the year and with allergies is because our immune system is under attack or not quite the best. So we're going to use two drops of lemon oil, which is a great immune booster. It's a disinfectant and it really helps with sore throats and fevers. And lastly, we're going to add one drop of peppermint. Peppermint really opens the nasal passengers. It ease coughing and helps with sinus ailments and all of those symptoms and smells so much like the season. So this is a great blend to use for allergies. So now we're gonna move on to the flu fighting blend. This is a blend that is great because nobody enjoys having the flu during this season. This oil is great to combat the flu and also prevent the flu from coming. So we're gonna go ahead and fill our diffuser and we're going to start with our oils. We are going to use two drops of cinnamon. Now cinnamon is antiviral, antibacteria. It helps with cough, the flu, and it also strengthens our immunity. Next we're going to move on to two drops of clove oil. Clove also antiviral, antibacterial, and it fights digestive discomforts. It helps with nausea, bronchitis, it's antimicrobial as I said, and then the next oil we're going to add to this blend is one drop of ginger oil. And ginger is just one of those very helpful oils to have during the season because when you have the flu and you're achy and cold, this really helps with muscle aches and pains all digestive discomfort, the nausea, the diarrhea, and it helps fight the common cold, which also can be at the same time as the flu. And so ginger is just one of those great oils to have on hand and use in this blend for the flu fighting blend. The last oil we are going to add to this blend is orange oil. I love orange oil this time of the year. I love the smell of it. It just is warm and cozy. Um, but it's sedative, it's antiseptic, it's calming. It's going to help you be able to rest and heal and get well throughout the flu season. And that completes our flu fighting blend. I really did save the best for last, guys. And this recipe is really going to help keep your family well. I start diffusing this blend very early in the fall and it really does help so much. Now you can see here, I'm using just your standard VIX vaporizer. Now I know it's a vaporizer, but when you think of the whole concept of diffusing, 
it's just a big diffuser and it really helps get the steam into the air. Now you fill it full of water. It has so much more water than a regular size diffuser. And when that steam is rolling out, it really gets into the air and really gets to work busting those germs and keeping our family safe. And because we have a lot more water in here, we can add more oils than we do in the diffuser so that we're getting more into the environment. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start with lavender oil. Lavender oil, in my opinion, is the world's best antimicrobial. Again, it fights the bacteria as well as viruses that cause cold and flu. It's restorative and will aid in rest, which is definitely key to being well. We're gonna use 15 drops of lavender. The next oil in this blend is cinnamon oil. Now, cinnamon oil, again, is going to give us the antiviral and antibacterial properties. It's going to help with coughs and strengthen our immune system. We're gonna use 10 drops of cinnamon oil. And cinnamon oil is definitely one of my favorite oils for the season. It smells so great. And alongside of cinnamon, another great oil for the season is clove. Clove, again, is going to be antibacterial and antiviral. It's going to fight both bacteria and viruses in the air. We're going to use six drops of clove. And next in line is rosemary. Rosemary really opens up the nasal passages. It's a decongestant and an expectorant. That means it's going to help break up that mucus and get the coughs productive and get them out. We are going to use eight drops of rosemary. Eucalyptus is another oil that really helps open up the sinuses and you can really smell it and freeing up your breathing passages. It helps with sore throats, cough, sinuses, antiseptic, and anti-inflammatory, and it really helps on those thin membranes, opening them up and reducing the swelling so you can breathe. 10 drops of eucalyptus. And lastly, lemon boosts that immunity, antiseptic, really clear the air and help keep your family well. Now, of course, there's a tray at the top, but there's not enough room to put the oil. So I go ahead and just use the tank and watch all that steam just diffuse all those germ fighting properties right into the air and making your home smell amazing. Thanks so much for coming along friends and please let me know in the comments below which of those is your favorite recipe and if you have your own essential oil recipe that gets your family through the cold and flu season by all means please share that down below. I'm sure others would love to give it a try. Until next time guys be blessed and be safe and I'll see you soon.